What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome to my builds guide and interview of Groom Robin. At the end, I'll also have a special bonus segment. So Groom Robin is a free to play red mage cavalier with Ring of Affiance plus as the inheritable weapon. This is a decent weapon as it does give you plus 4 to all of your stats and it also inflicts the in combat panic on the opponent. So we have seen the weapons that inflict in combat panic before like on legion before. So it is pretty much similar to that and it can help you in certain game modes if you're going to be facing the opponents which have visible buffs. But if the opponent doesn't have a visible buff then he's only going to be getting plus 4 to all of his stats and isn't really going to be debuffing the opponent for anything. He also has speed resistance cast 3 and speed resistance snag so that they can try and make him a bit faster cavalier but unfortunately his uh, stat allocation is definitely a bit awkward because in this metagame where we have got such insanely fast units base 35 speed just doesn't cut it for an offensive unit especially when he's also not really packing a lot of um, bulk with his defense and resistance so yeah he is not really going to be a very bulky cavalier and nor he's going to be very fast he just kind of is in the middle but his attack stat is definitely pretty good at base 46 which is going to be helping him nuke hard he can definitely be compared to the other red mage cavaliers that we have got as free to play units so he's going to be hitting a lot harder than arete and also of course valentine titania he's almost going to be you know as fast as her but of course he doesn't really have as much resistance as both of these so he's not really going to be getting as much damage out of something like iceberg for example and he's mainly going to be relying on his attack stat to do a lot of damage he can work offensively but it's just that they gave him such an awkward stat spread where he's not the slowest and he's not the fastest but he has got workable enough speed at high investment um but still it's not going to be high enough to double a lot of the meta threats and he doesn't really have the highest bulk so he can only function as a bulky mage cavalier if you want to do that. Um, R.A.T. and Valentine Titania can do that better because of their resistance at the very least. But still Arcane Eclipse is going to be the weapon of choice especially with his high attack at high investment. And his fodder could be useful if you're trying to fodder off Cyrene as she does have speed resistance catch 4 and the Pegasus flight 4 skill. Um, so if you use Groom Robin and Fila, then you can basically get both of the tier 4 skills. And if you do get the tier 4 version of the snack skill, then I guess this could be useful. But still, snack skills are still very niche when it comes to usage, even with the tier 4 version that we have seen on uh, Fallen Chrome, for example. So Groom Robin does have high attack stat to function as a range cavalier. And if you give him Arcan Eclipse, then that is definitely really good because he can pre-charge his Glimmer and hit even harder and he does have the attack debuff neutralization from that weapon so it is useful for him but unfortunately because of being a mage cavalier he has very limited options offensively he can only get special spiral 4 or time pulse 4 or many of the other options that mages have got so that's a bit unfortunate and if you're going to be using rearmed ophelia as the fodder you can already pass off special spiral on him and he doesn't really have a way of piercing through the damage reduction or any kind of way of easily getting the uh, null follow up effect and like i mentioned before his stat spread is definitely pretty awkward you can definitely make him work out but still nonetheless um in the meta that we are in right now it is going to be giving him a bit of trouble and because he doesn't really have a preferred weapon he does get fierce competition from kadean lind and legendary veronica who also nuke really hard as a red mage cavaliers and they are a lot more unique because of having a preferred weapon Lind having that niche of providing null follow up and unhindered movement and Legend Veronica just having that damage reduction piercing through enclosure and having a really really solid weapon um so it definitely leaves a bit more to be desired of Robin and I really wish that they gave him a better stat spread or at least like better speed but if you're a big fan of him then you should of course be investing into your favorites but he's likely going to be one of those units that you invest in because you actually like Robin a lot or you like his art a lot and not because of his stat spread or the weapon or the base kit that he brings. So if you want to build up Robin for a budget and if you just want to use him for like um, Tempest Trial where he's a bonus unit, then you can just give him Attack Tactic as a budget skill and give him Glimmer because it is going to be working off well with his high attack stat. And you can just give him Blade Session so you can just try and make him faster. That's pretty much the route that he's going to be taking because even if you stack up a lot of bulk, he's not really going to be that tanky. And at least with more speed, he can double some of the slower opponents. So you can do that. And if you're going to be investing a bit more into him and you want to plus and merge him, then I highly recommend giving him Arcane Eclipse because this is going to be giving him 
the auto follow up which is going to be really really helpful against a lot of these lower opponents basically acting as a pseudo half null follow up so if he's going to be faster than the opponents then at least he's going to be able to bypass those follow up negation effects and it also has the quicken pulse effect so he can pre-charge glimmer and basically head hard with that so because of his high attack set glimmer does become a pretty nice special that he can run and you can just get attack speed catch for and speed resistance for trace from the divine codes and slotsy is really flexible on these kinds of mage cavaliers attack speed menace does work out because you can create that stat differential between your speed stat and the opponent's speed stat so it can definitely help him ultimately just be a lot faster and if you're going to be investing even more into him then remote sparrow is going to be a fantastic slotty skill for him because it gives him damage reduction and groom robin is not the tankiest unit so he does appreciate that damage reduction that he can get in the player phase. So it's a really good premium slotty skill for him and he can just work out with Arcane Eclipse and Glimmer. And he can just stack up speed on him so that if he doubles an opponent and if they don't really have guard skills, then he can trigger Glimmer twice actually because of Arcane Eclipse. So that does work out really well offensively against many of the opponents. As someone who really likes using Summer Mercedes, I really feel the pain of many of the Groom Robin fans as uh, with this kind of stat spread you don't really have too too many options to work with and as a cavalier as it is there are not too many skills that he can access so these are going to be the build options that he can run on him mainly and uh, the slotsy skill is always going to be flexible but i really like attack speed mana so that he can just get even more speed by debuffing the opponent and if there's like a better slotsy skill that comes out for the range cavaliers then he's going to be able to make use of that if it can give him more speed stat because that is ultimately going to be helping him speed stack and even though he's not going to be the most impressive unit in competitive game modes if you're a big fan of him and if you've invested into him heavily and if you want to use him you can definitely try and use him in the raids defense with an emblock have line so keep in mind that you're still going to be facing the omni tanks really ridiculously fast units that are going to be annoying but still you can try and run him on a cav line where he can function as a high attack unit so you can run Ruptured Sky and basically pre-charge it with Arcane Eclipse and run Remote Sparrow so that he can get that damage reduction. And Lull Speed Resistance is pretty fantastic in Aether Raid's defense where people are going to be running Peony and they are going to be buffing up their units. And Red Feud can definitely help you against many of the red tanks. Um, but still, stuff like Lucia is going to be able to bypass uh, his special and not really care too much about him and still kill him but if you want to use him in his role as a mage cavalier with a high attack then ether raids defense can be a way of using him and if you do invest into him with our dual cavalry 4 and if you really want to use him in an arena team then that is also an option and you can just pre-charge ruptured sky with arcane eclipse unfortunately arcane weapons don't really score as high as the legendary weapons so you're not really going to be able to score too high with him um just only as the 180 bst unit which nowadays is not a lot as we have many free to play units that can score 190 VST. So if you're a big fan of him, this is definitely a way of using him in Arena. If I had to improve Groom Robin, then this is pretty much what I'll do. I really wish they would have given him a bit more speed so that he can be a lot more offensive because reducing a bit of points from like defense or resistance doesn't really matter too much as long as he's going to be offensive. And if I had to go all the way out and give him a preferred weapon, then I would pretty much turn his inheritable weapon into a preferred weapon have it have plus 3 speed and then he can get like plus 5 to all of his stats with this weapon. Still have the in combat panic effect but giving him an offensive null follow up would help him so so much. And also have 30% damage reduction on foe's first attack as he's not really going to be all that bulky. So I would have given him this kind of preferred weapon which is not really too insane but still would have made him such a solid free to play red mage cavalier if he just had a bit more speed and something like this as a weapon. Of course, we don't really see too many seasonal units in Tempest Trial have some kind of preferred weapon, but still, um, if I just had to improve him, this kind of preferred weapon would really, really help him. So let me know what you think about my theorycraft and what do you think about a bit faster Robin with this kind of preferred weapon. I'll be eager to hear that, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to share this video with your friends if they are trying to build up Groom Robin. And if you did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like and a comment, helps you tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using super thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more Faye videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as Faye when it comes to giving a bit more speed to the Grail units. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.